Today we are going to discuss the topic asymmetric information, adverse selection and moral hazard which comes under microeconomics. So, in reality no economic participant can have complete, uh, in efficient and perfect information at all times. Both consumers and producers have incomplete information and they make decisions based on the information that they have. That is, they make decisions under uncertainty. That is, there is some risk involved always. So this is known as imperfect information. However, when one participant, when one economic participant or party has better information than the other participant involved in the transaction about the prob probability of an outcome, it is known as asymmetric information. For examples, for example, suppliers may have better information about the quality of a product than the buyers. This leads to sellers exploiting the uninformed or underinformed buyers. Uh, another popular example is the market of second-hand cars. The sellers of the second-hand second-hand cars have full information about the true quality of the second-hand car. However, the buyer is not aware of the quality. This is known as asymmetric information. Uh, another example can be when a job applicant who is interviewing for a job does not uh, fully uh, disclose the skills that uh, he or she may not possess but are required uh, for the job. So that is again asymmetric information. Now let's come to adverse selection and moral hazard. Uh, so adverse selection first we will discuss adverse selection in markets such as insurance market and second hand car market as we discussed earlier problems of adverse selection and moral hazard may arise in case of incomplete and imperfect competition so um, the economic participants may have different levels of information one participant may have more information than the other party therefore the sellers tend to exploit the less informed buyer by choosing to withhold information by choosing to not disclose information about the quality of the second hand car thus Adverse selection arises in the market when one party has more information about a good or a service than the other party. The informed agent thus gains more from the trading, the, the transaction process with the under informed party. Adverse selection is also known as hidden information problem. Now let's see an example of the health insurance market. Now people who, who are unhealthy tend to buy uh, health insurance against any disease or illness because they know they are more at risk of falling ill. And unhealthy people are much more likely to insure than healthy people because they know that they are more likely to be uh, to catch a disease or fall ill. However, the insurance companies may not have complete information or full, inf full knowledge about the health status of the insured person. They do not know the uh, history, the medical history of the person. And it may be possible that a very large number of people insured by a health insurance company may be at many health risks. And so basically what is adverse selection is that people who are more at risk are more likely to buy the insurance. So this leads to adverse selection in the health insurance market. Now let's come to moral hazard. Moral hazard is uh, different than adverse selection. It occurs when uh, a party changes or alters his or her behavior after buying a certain product. For example, if a person who has insurance against his or her car may act irresponsibly while driving because he or she knows that the damage incurred or the cost uh, which may, uh, may occur due to any accident uh, will be borne by the insurance company that is another party that is they don't have to bear the cost of any casual casualty. 
other examples are health insurance and uh, fire insurance so in case of health insurance let's take another example uh, let's take the example of smoking to understand moral hazard further so it is well known that smoking is injurious to health it is very harmful to health however a person with health insurance may go on smoking more cigarettes without any regard to his or her, her health because he or she knows that the cost of the treatment does not have to be borne by themselves it has to be borne by the health insurance company in case of any disease so people act less carefully or they act irresponsibly when they know that the cost of any damage or casualty will be borne by someone else and they do not have to pay any cost so moral hazard um, is also known as hidden action problem uh, another thing is that uh, the problem of adverse selection and moral hazard leads to market failure uh, earlier market failures were uh, mostly associated with public goods and externalities but with the emergence of the new th theory of economics of information we have come to know that imperfect and asymmetric information also lead to market failures now let's discuss the mcqs the first question is adverse selection arises because uh, the correct answer is option a so in adverse selection uh, arises because insurance buyers have more information than insurance sellers as we discussed earlier uh, the the insured people the insured person may not reveal the full medical history uh, and thus the insurance buyer has more information that than the ins insurance seller the second question is uh, when people behave in ways that involve increased risk because they have insurance this is known as option b moral hazard moral hazard is when people change or alter their behavior uh and behave in ways that involve increased risk because they know that the cost is not uh, ha has does not have to be borne by them because they are insured against any risk or casualty another uh the next question is adverse selection can occur when so the correct option is adverse selection can occur when one person has information not available to others that is option b so adverse selection uh, uh, occurs when one person that is either either the insured person the insured person has more information that is not been disclosed to the other party that is the insurance company uh, next question is if reckless drivers are more likely to buy automobile insurance than safe drivers are this is adverse selection has occurred option number d so um again as we saw uh, as we discussed in adverse selection that people who are more at risk of any health problems uh, they are more likely to in get health insurance so similarly reckless drivers are more likely to buy automobile insurance than uh, safe drivers are